Welcome to Colton Court. This is the family home of the Frock Martins. They've lived here for over 600 years and they're an old Catholic family and they've got connections to the gunpowder plot. Today, we're going to take you on a behind the scenes tour of rooms and objects which are not on show to the public. So if you'd like to find out more, follow me. We're now in the terror room, which is one of the oldest parts of the house. This room became the family's secret chapel, which allowed them to still practice their Catholic religion. There were many reasons for this. First of all, you can see that it's very high up, so there were really good views over the countryside, which means that they could spy any soldiers or priest hunters coming in. The Frockmorton family of Colton Court were related to the key conspirators in the gunpowder plot and the house itself was to be the base for the Midlands Uprising. Ammunition and horses were to be stored here, as well as other key Catholic houses for the rebellion. Lady Digby, wife of Sir Everard, one of the key conspirators in the plot, was waiting here, along with Nicholas Owen, who was the priest hall builder, uh, the Vole sisters from Baddesley Clinton and fathers Garnet and Tesimond, they were all here waiting to hear news of the gunpowder plot. They stayed up all night and finally at 6am on the 6th of November, Thomas Bates, Robert Catesby's servant, came rushing in and he told them of the failure of the plot. Father Garnet exclaimed, we are all utterly undone. corner here we've got a priest's hole. This one is very special, it's known as a double hide hole. Now that means that there are two compartments. The top one, it was hoped that if soldiers came to search for a priest and they didn't find anybody there, they wouldn't search below. And around 1910 the bottom hide was rediscovered. In there there was a straw mattress, there was a leather altar, a rope ladder with which to get in and out, and fragments of tapestry. Behind me is the Tabula Eliensis. This was painted in 1596 at the height of the persecution of English Catholics. It's a protest document and would have been a very dangerous document to have in your possession as Catholics were seen as enemies of the state. Up at the top, you can see Ely Cathedral. That was where a lot of Catholics were imprisoned in Ely. Further down in the roundels, you can see the different kings and queens of England and you'll see Queen Elizabeth I just here. The bottom half of the cloth depicts the shields of the different Catholic families who were imprisoned during the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. In the fifth panel, you can see the shield of Thomas Frockmorton, owner of Colton Court at the time of the gunpowder plot. Thank you for joining us on this tour today. And thanks also for your continued support of special places like Colton Court.